hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to be showing you tirac 5 tutorial how to use tirac 5 tutorial so this is tirac 5 tutorial and this is just how the interface look so in the first area of the interface you're going to see file so in this file you see a couple of options you have new project you have open you have save save as uh, then if you want to import any file you just go it takes you to your folder you import file so here you have a spot you have project settings if you want to set your project give it a name depend look at it you have wave it is mp3 if it's um d3 you put the type of d3 that you want it to be then uh then audio settings and all that and then also info projects for the audio file that you are bringing in right so so here you have the edit option you have copy snapchat you have copy of it so we're going to be doing this tutorials on this so we have chain a b chain so this chain area is where you'll be arranging your effects just where you have this one these are different chains so this is a chain so you can see this input you can see this arrow connected this to this arrow connected so this particular connection this connection all through is called a chain okay this connection is called a chain so um so we're going to be doing that so we have a b chain then we have a uh, transport on and off view you want to view the different sections you want to show mastering metering so if you want to show the different sections to you monitor your audio so this is where you want to your meter your equalizer section this is your equalizer section then if you want to monitor your stereo width this is where you come and uh, all that so presets so these are the different presets you have your preset assembly so mastery tools these are just the basics so right here on our left we have uh, the diff uh, we have different uh what's it called presets these are different presets of these are different presets that is already set down for mastering so i'm going to be bringing in an audio for an example to show you how it works So let's see. So this is just uh, a missed down audio to show you an example. <laughs> <laughs> Not broke. So, so I'm going to be bringing in a preset, for example. This is a preset. So you can see it has just arranged a preset. This is a preset that is already on on ground. That is already that that came with the T-Rack. So I'm dope. I run the show. I'm not broke, so you know. Oh yeah, pa. I made dough like Esama. I got dough. So the party for sure. See me now, I did but They know me everywhere. They know me everywhere. So this is just one process. So you have so many preset here we have the brighter preset you can see this is another preset you just have um the track processor and the clean processor we have another preset here you can see different chain you can see the different chain that is lined up for this particular type of um chain. i'm dope i run the show i'm not broke so you know oh yeah pa. i made dough like Esama, I got dough. So the party for sure. See me now, I did but they know me everywhere. So this is another preset that you can find. So these are different presets that you can use for your t rack tutorial. So if you find any preset helpful, then all you just simply do add up the preset. I'm dope. I run the show. Then fit it, I'm not then fit it to the outputs that you like. For example, I'm dope. I run the show. And the, the best thing you're going to be targeting is look at this particular place where it is written RMS. So anytime you want to master and you see this particular place is showing 8, 9, or 10, that means that you have gotten enough loudness on your mix. So you usually go to the last to increase. I'm so here I'm on my limiter. So I have quad cup there here. So I'm going to go to my limiter. And I'm going to make sure I'm going to be having like 8. Eight, look out for eight, nine, ten RMX. Okay, eight, nine, ten RMX. Then once your audio has gotten to eight, nine, ten RMX, that is when you have gotten enough loudness that will be good for your output. Okay? I'm dope. I run the show. I'm not broke, so you know. Oh yeah, I made dough like Esama. I got dough. So the party. 
So I really like this particular preset and uh, this preset is very, very good. So we have other colors of uh, other presets. We have this preset, we have this. So depending on the one you like, you just gonna put in your own preset. Hmm? So this is another preset. I'm dope. I run the show. I'm not broke. So you know. Oh yeah, pa. I make dough. Like Esama. I got dough. So you party for sure. See me now. I did but They know me everywhere. They know me everywhere. Where them chicks at? They couldn't ball out. So this housekeeper preset, this is just saturation. So I'm dope. I run the show. I'm not broke, so you know. Oh yeah, So this is another preset. So we have a lot of presets right here. You can just go through. Okay, you can just scroll down. These are different, 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 different frame preset. Okay, so we have different presets that you need to use. So these are the preset section. Mm? Then if you want to save your preset, preset, you can just come here, give it a name. You can just come give it your own name. For example, I give it unique preset. In case you want to use it for another project, you could just save it. Once you click save, it will save just where I have other ones here. Although I have other ones already. Like for example, these are my presets that I that I created that is working for me. So once you're able to find anyone that is working for you, all you just need to do is to name the preset or for yourself. Okay. So um, this is the preset section. And the next session we have, if you want to bring in your personal preset. I'm dope. So I'm going to be deleting all this. Okay. So by the right here. I'm dope. So by the right here, you find your meter. So this meter actually gives you your loudness meter. Aaron best miss your loudness. So if you are looking at for your loudness for your own personal project. So once you get to 6, 5, 7, 8, 10 Aaron best. Hmm? Then the highest you can get is eight and seven. Eight and seven will enable to protect the strength of your job, of your sound, give it clarity, give it a punch, and it will be very okay. More than that, you're going to be introducing distortion into your means. I mean, harshness. Harshness is going to be introduced into your means. Okay. So on this right part, we have um, a couple of sections. We have the dynamic. On the dynamic, we have the different uh, uh, plugins for dynamic. So I think we have. Uh, this a compressor. This is a compressor. This is also a compressor. So this are uh, on dynamic is every tool for treating dynamic is gonna is what you're gonna be finding here. You know, this is a post compressor, this is also a compressor, this is also a limit a dynamic uh, multi-band compressor and a limiter and all that. So every tool for treating dynamic is what you're gonna be finding here under the under the category of dynamic so we're going to leave dynamic right here we're going to go to equalizer so on equalizer hmm, every tool that will enable you to enhance your frequency to boost to cut frequencies what you're going to be finding here this is your equalizer section you come here so this particular equalizer have the low end the mid end the high end and the so whatever you boost your Twitter. I'm dope. I run the mid I'm dope. I run the show. I'm not broke, so you know. Oh yeah. So eventually, on this equalizer, every tool here, they are all the same. They basically do the same thing to adjust your frequency, to cut frequencies, and to add frequencies. So all these are different form of equalizer you can use for your project. We have them differently. This is another different one. I'm dope. I run the show. I'm not broke, so you know. Oh yeah, pa. I made dope. So this is what you have here. A different equalizer to. So next, when you come here to your orders, you're gonna be finding where you have limiter, you have micro, you have um, you have um others other way where you have clipper limiter you have saturator and all. so these are pretty little plugins you have around here and then you have reverb in case you want to add any reverb to your mix so all you just need to come to the reverb category these are different type of reverb that you can add to your mix okay so these are reverb so i'm just going to bring it that audio for me to sample Stop. 
June, I get mad. Where them ticks at? They could not ball out. Start to shake that. So this is how the revive works. So I'm going to be removing this um bricks no pain. So right, I'm going to be removing these equalizers. So my audio remains. I'm going to be bringing in this particular reverb. So this is pretty a delay effect. So guys, this is pretty much how um, your effects are. And don't wait to join our Telegram group where we post regular videos on missing and mastering and also how to make beats and how to become a professional sound engineer. So if you need more tutorial on other, other things, there are other music production skills and tricks there in the channel below. So do wait to watch out for the next video and don't forget to join our Telegram free music production class in the description below. So see you guys in the next video.